hi guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going back we are doing i'm showing you guys how to do a full face makeup tutorial for beginners so if it's something you like to watch please keep on watching please don't forget to subscribe give me a big thumbs up if you like the video show your comments and your thoughts in the comment section i reply to all of them so we now do let's go into the video so we're starting with a moisturizer i'm always using my body lotion that's the ps so I'll rub it all over my face. So as a beginner, it's usually good to start with your brows first. I know you want to start with foundation. No, no, no. You have to start with your brows first because you make some mistakes and it's always easier to correct when you're not putting in your foundation and all those good stuff. Me. So, but you still want to have that tinted look. So we use our finishing powder to pat on our brows. To have that tinted brow effect so i'm not using a spoolie to come out the brows and it it will be very easy as a beginner if you have your brows carved out already drawing the brows will be more easier so i'm going in with davis number three eye pencils so i'm outlining the brows now and guys please take your time I did a mistake there I'll still use this thing to correct it that's why it's good as a beginner to first of all do your brows first so I'm not filling in the brows if you guys can see I have a very sparse brows so I'm filling in the brows drawing hair like trans I'm back with the spoolie again to brush it all up but this side will be look, look more naturalistic. You know that's why we're so light-handed there. So to clean my brows, I'm using this flat brush, flat angle brush with Elegir Pro Conceal. So I'm using the flat brush and the Elegir Pro Conceal, the shade font to clean my brows. So guys, you should use as little product as you can here that it will not become so messy so i was just thinking that i missed the days that flat brushes had more room that you could work on so after cleaning out the lower brows i blend it in with my fingers i clean my upper brows too but this time i'm using my foundation shade so that it will be easier to blend and apply my foundation i won't have that halo brow effect i don't really like that so i'll still clean it up after with my hands i'll press it into that to be easier when i'm applying my foundation later so i'm using the la girl pro conceal as my eyeshadow base you know something that the eyeshadow can sit on and after applying i use my finishing powder to blend it in or to set it so for the eyes we are not doing that much i'm just using this brown in the flawless eye palette what do you know this palette city girl eyeshadow palette so i'm using a fluffy brush to apply it here and with eyeshadow it's always easier to build on you don't apply all at once you dip in you dust out the excess then you you apply so i'm using that as my transition color and it's always it will go to for my nose contour so i'll blend it out towards the nose and you start now to build out the nose contour for the lip color i'm using this So I still went in with that transition color, that's the second shade I used to blend everything in and still build on, on that nose contour. Then I'm outlining my eyes with this gel liner. And it's always good to draw a straight line where your eyes meet, where your lower brows meet your upper brows. Draw a very straight line. Then you now connect it to the middle of the eyes. 
before you draw the front part so that the front will be very thin and you build up the you build it up as you go how thick you want it you build it up like that so for my prime i'm using the pons lasting oil primer today i have very oily uh, i have very oily face so it dries me up so i'll use it almost all the time so guys if you are using pons blend in don't leave that white strike because it will show under your foundation so for the lashes now with tacky i apply it using my hands i love using my hands to apply my lashes i think it's way easier for me then after i use the tweezer to press it all in to press the and the false lashes to my real lashes so for foundation today i'm using the v beauty foundation just two pumps guys it's okay this one two point was even much so i'm using this damn beauty sponge wet the sponge guys wet it press out the excess water then use it to apply and apply using a dabbing motion don't drag tap 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 And I don't apply it close to my under eye because I'll put in my concealer there later. So I don't want product to be too much. So I don't apply close to my under eye. And please don't forget the neck. Blend in your neck. So I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal again as my highlighter. And guys, please don't use too much. So I apply it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin. All the places I want to be highlighted. I still go back with that damn beauty sponge to blend it in. And guys, as beginners, please don't do this. Don't do like I just did. You blend as you go. You apply. The area you apply, you blend it in before you apply in another place. Don't apply like because some concealers dry up very fast. I did like this because I know this one doesn't dry up very fast. So blend as you go. So for my contour, I'm using this Bicham foundation and just a little is enough because it was very dark. This is the darkest shade that I used. So I'm still using another beauty sponge to blend it in using a dabbing motion too so and for my jawline i blend it in and downward for my forehead i blend it towards my hairline so for my blush i love blushes guys i'm using that flawless ivy lips palette that red shade for the blush today And I apply it on my chin, a little bit on my forehead, those places I want, those places I want to, to have a little bit of color. So, so now we are done with the cream product, up to the powder product. So to set my highlighted areas, I'm going in with the loose powder and my blending sponge again. Apply, tap out the excess, then press it in. I don't be guys. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with this another flawless product. To set, I'm still using the damn beauty sponge. My contour was really pronounced, so there was no need of me applying powder contour again. So for the finishing spray, I'm using this Kiss Beauty and I bath myself with it, guys. So that that powdery look will be off. Then I apply shadow to my under eyes. So I go in with the shimmer eyeshadow to brighten my tear dot area, then apply my black liner on my waterline. Line my lips with still the Davis eye pencil. See it's multi-purpose. 
then I now apply this Tara, um, Tara gloss in Boma. Have for a long time. This is the final look. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up. Share your comments and suggestions down below. See you in the next video.